Today, there is a trend that only a few people determine what the public should like, whether that is clothes, entertainment, food, etc. These set of people are known as the upper class because they have the money and luxury that the middle and lower class wish to have. And so, the lower and middle classes will attempt to imitate the upper class in order to get a small glimpse in what the lifestyle is like for the better. So the middle and lower classes give the upper class power to determine what ideals the rest of the society should have. The upper class of the society is made up of individuals who earn about $250,000 a year, and these individuals make up about roughly 1% of the population. The middle class makes up about 25 to about 60% of the society's population, and they earn a median of over $100,000. The lower class makes up about 25% of the population and they earn roughly $23,050 a year. Even though the upper class makes up only a very small percent of the population, they make up for their small reputation in money and power. With their power, the upper class is able to present its interests as the common interests of all members of society, thus making the upper class the ruling class in Marx and Engels' eyes. This allows the ruling class, which is the ruling material force of society, is at the same time its ruling intellectual force, the class which has the means of material production at its disposal, consequently controls the means of mental production. So the ideas of those who lack the means of mental production are on the whole subject to it. In order to spread the ideals of the upper or ruling class, they rely on the media, which is through magazines, newspapers, internet, radio, and television. Of these mediums, television is the one of the most popular to use because there's at least one television set in majority of the American homes today, with hundreds of channels to access. There are channels for almost any interest out there, yet what these channels airs and to which demographic is determined by the companies who own the television networks. So one would think with hundreds of channels available to the public, there will be a wide range of companies to reflect the interests of society as a whole. Instead, there are only a few companies that own all the networks on television. And so what ends up happening is most of these networks will play shows that are similar content because of only a few owners that there are. Another reason is that these companies know that this material that they present will gather a large audience, so they will not risk resources, which is time and money, for new material that may not keep their ratings up. One example of this is news stations and channels. Many news shows will emphasize different human interest stories or tabloids in hopes of keeping their ratings up. These stories are not real news about the reality that can affect the individuals of a society. Instead, these shows will typically begin with the French soccer scores or another sporting event interrupting the regular news, or will highlight the most antidotal, racialized political events, visits of foreign heads of states, the presidential trip abroad, and so on, or the natural disasters, accidents, fires, and the like. In short, the focus is on these things in which are apt to arouse curiosity, but require no analysis, especially in the political sphere. These highlights on curiosities is what makes and keeps the public wanting to know more and more on the upper class, a reality they dream to make. To be able to have a lifestyle in which they only have the smallest things to worry, not where they have enough money for food and or insurance, to be able to have the free time in which they can relax and focus only on themselves, to be able to afford the grand and lavish vacations they see and experience the world around them instead of only being able to imagine it, what the world is like through books and research. This imagining of what the upper class does and the pressure to be like them leads to many individuals to pretend to be something that they are not. Or as Baudry Lord says, to simulate is to theme what one doesn't have. By constantly being barraged by images of the upper class, their lavish lifestyle, individuals become embarrassed by their own class status and giving power to those above them to determine what society should care about. So this leads to many individuals to pretend that they are of higher status than what they actually are. And so many individuals will attempt to copy the upper class clothes and fashion. This is done by purchasing knockoffs of designer brands. These knockoffs are much cheaper than the designer brands, and so these individuals are able to afford it and become more socially acceptable in our society that worships the upper class and their ideals. But the reason we are so focused on images of belonging to a higher class is because of the images that we are presented with in media. This is because the upper class owns most, if not all, television networks and magazine companies in America, where they can put out images of what the ideal life is like. 
This is because they have the time and resources to put these messages out to the masses, unlike the working and middle class who do not have the time nor the resources to be able to reach to many of the individuals of our society. And so they create the environment in which that shows if you keep it working, you can reach this lifestyle where you can have the job, money, and time to be able to do whatever you want when you want to do it someday in that individual's near future. Yet by only showing these images and not presenting the counteracting news, one is not able to see that this goal becoming part of the lavish upper class is impossible to reach because the upper class is constantly getting richer and richer from selling their ideal lifestyle to the lower classes and thus creating a larger and larger gap between the middle, lower classes and the upper class. So the cycle continues on where the upper class gain the benefit off the lower classes that wishes of a better lifestyle and the middle class and lower class continue to buy into the popular items of the rich in order to get a small peek into that lavish lifestyle.